All right, guys. Day one of the Pickwick Bassmaster Elite has officially been postponed. Just wanted to give y'all a little bit of an update so y'all ain't trying to check Bass Track and go to Bassmaster.com and see what I'm up to today because we just chilling back at the hotel. Got everything ready already. All brand new line, brand new sun line on my, on my rods and reels and everything. So don't need to do anything today. No tackle prep at all. Just waiting for tomorrow. Came down here to look at, just see how bad it's gotten since this morning. Cause when I put in this morning, the water was actually not that bad as far as level. It was about full whenever I got, whenever we put in this morning, then we got postponed. But the reason it got postponed is because we have an abnormal amount of current coming out of the Wilson Dam, which is just about three miles of that way. And what that does is it just makes like three miles per hour or three and a half, four miles per hour water going straight down the river. The problem with that is we had 35 mile per hour gusts and sustained 18 mile per hour winds blowing the opposite way of the current. So what that does is the water's moving this way, the wind's blowing this way, it makes bigger than normal waves under that much mile per hour wind and what that, they're very hard to navigate whenever they're going against the current. Another thing it does, it just destroys the fishing and makes the fishing actually not that dang good. But I'm watching a guy right there over my, head, over my shoulder catch one. Not supposed to get that info, but can't help it when he catches one, they're splashing when I'm sitting here walking around. But anyways, water level has risen I mean, it's higher than full pool now. It's came up probably 12 inches, eight or 12 inches since I took out this morning. And it's going to double the amount of current coming out of the Wilson Dam tomorrow from today, which is gonna make it flood even more. But they have to do that because all this land down here is more used to flooding. Whereas up there on Wilson and the other lakes up there on the lower end, there's a lot of houses and stuff that cannot sustain whenever it's flooded. So they wanna move the water through as fast as they possibly can and get it to a lake like Pickwitch, which was already drawn down, anticipating this coming through. So when I got here, the lake was about six or seven feet low. Some people said it was even eight feet low, but I believe it was around six, six and a half feet low. And now it is over full and that all happened in the past 36 hours probably. So things are changing fast. If we do get to go tomorrow, which I'm hope we do, cause I'm, I'm a young dummy that wants to go fishing, <laughs> even with the bad conditions, but the fish are gonna be moving a lot. It's gonna be tough to re relocate where they are, but the guy who wins this tournament is going to have to show the talent he has and get out there and move around, find where the fish are sitting on the actual tournament days, and as fast as things are changing, you got to relocate them every single day. So the guys that are the most efficient and the most well-rounded and the best at actually finding fish are gonna do the best this week, and I'm looking forward to seeing exactly who shows out because this lake has a ton of big ones, and now, practice is flushed out the window it's time to just go catch them in the tournament so hopefully this tournament still goes and we'll be all good but day one has been canceled just want to give you an update we're going to ride around for a second and just see how much water is that actually where there are lots of water in the parking lot and stuff like that so so during practice i stopped right here on this point just looking at what was up in this creek and the creek was complete mud and that dock was about dry like there was you couldn't get to that dock hardly you couldn't make a cast under it now it's sitting in like five feet of water. So water has came up five feet in just about a day and a half. There's your log floating down the river. Just right here where we're sitting, that's one of the hazards. It's one of the reasons that this has been postponed. Logs floating down the river. Those are all over the place, especially when you get a little bit lower. This water's mostly coming out of the tail race, so not that many floaters up this way, but there's a lot more when you get further south. Okay, so you can see the water here. This was like a mud bottom not long ago. It's actually, it kind of makes you understand the power that this water actually has. See, right, it's already rose like four or five feet in a couple days on this area of the lake, maybe even more. And you can see right now we're in the campground where like 25 of our anglers were actually camped out at. And right now the truck is parked up on a raised surface. But in between, there's all these little like little valleys where if the water comes up literally another two feet, it's gonna pretty much submerge all this in here and the only thing left is gonna be exactly where you're parked. So it came up pretty dang fast and it's pretty, it's pretty substantial. So if it comes up another five or six feet, it's gonna completely swamp this entire thing. It may not even take that much to make it unusable. So it's pretty bad. So that water right there around those trees is really not that bad. Like it's not like deep or super, dramatic or anything like that. It just shows the tendency this place has to flood if the water does come up a little bit more and gets over the banks. It's going to hold the water a lot because it's so flat right here. It's 
just want to give you all an update. Hop on here. Appreciate y'all watching. Hit the subscribe button because the next video will be a tournament video. Well, no, it won't. Next video will be like practice or something. But anyways, hit the subscribe button because the tournament videos are coming up and turn the alerts on so you don't miss them. We will see y'all in the next video. Appreciate it.